Can you win a game just by using Clock Landsat and nothing else? Well, today we will figure that out. I had to reset the X that I had on Gallo, and to be honest, it was so easy, I'll make a guide on that. But yeah, the question is, can we win that? Nothing else, no other passive weapon, and the question is, which stage do we want to tackle? I think I'll start for now with Inlaid Library. Usually Inlaid Library is very simple, but keep in mind, here we constantly get flooded by enemies, and we have no protection. Now, we obviously start with Out of Bounds, I would say. The other option would be... A no, but we don't deal any damage without Out of Bounds. Yeah. Okay, we have to go for this. And as you can see, we only have Clock Lancet and very soon we'll be maxed out. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, nice, nice, nice. We killed it. There we go. I have all the power-ups that you can have, which means we have the 50% curse and the rest doesn't really do a lot for the Clock Lancet. And yeah, now it's just dancing around and then evolving... Oh... Oh no, evolving the Croc Lancet, that means, that means I have to trigger them, right, oh I better do that now, like now I'm, well no they have set HP, it doesn't really matter when I do that, well but if it doesn't matter then I can do it right away, right, where the wave is a bit easier to deal with right now, okay, let's walk over there, we have to collect the arrows, should I maybe get one empty tome, well, how many empty tomes are there? Okay, there are three empty tomes right now. Technically speaking, I could pick them up, but then we would no longer check if I could win this. You know, just with the empty tomes. So, you know what? I'll head over there, I'll get the arrows to the right, to the left, and we will have to deal with the Guardian somehow. I Can the Guardian even take damage from Clock Lancet? Like, I assume so. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, uh, yeah. While testing, if this entire thing worked, I came across a very interesting bug where Clock Lancet was invisible. I thought that was dealt with, but apparently not. So that is still a thing, but here everything worked out. Hopefully it doesn't become a problem down the line, because if I if I can't see Clock Lancet anymore, then, <laughs> you know, it's a bit hard to aim that. Uh, but so far it's going good. So what wave am I concerned the most with? I would say... Yeah, the tougher waves could definitely be a big problem. Like, do you see how I constantly take damage? And here it's not a big deal, right? I can heal that off, there's there's no big problem. But with tougher waves, they will just kill me. And, oh... Wait a second. How do I deal with the boss at 25 minutes? Like, Rock Lancer doesn't affect him. <laughs> I really hope it still deals damage to me, because otherwise... I'll have a boss run after me the entire time. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Well, l let's just see what happens, you know. Oh, Empty Tome, I really want you. 8% cooldown reduction would be so big here. Like, I wonder if it's possible. I mean, if I fail, if I keep failing, then I might add a little extra and say, okay, yeah, you know, stage pickups, they are fine. Just reroll the stage until I get four Empty Tomes and try it that way. Uh, but I would say our cooldown is already good, right? It's not bad. You also don't want it to be too, too fast that you can't really control it. Like, if it goes around too quickly while you try to walk around, then it's just gone when you want to go to the left side again. I don't know if that made any sense, what I mean, but but maybe it did, you know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. Nice. And lasts longer. That doesn't help me. Well, at least the first three minutes were kind of easy. And I still took a decent amount of damage. The good thing is... I can destroy candles. Now, it, it's not perfect, right? It, it's not perfect. But I would say it's good enough. <gasps> yeah, but I, stop. He just spawned out of nowhere. Don't they usually stay there? Like, they stand around, they wait for you all the time. This is the very, f believe it or not, this is the very first time I saw that happening. What? Okay, we do hit him. That's very good. Now, um... <laughs> um do you know how much HP he has? He has 30,000 HP prior to Curse. So right now, his HP should be 45,000. And just for reference, you know, we can actually keep this on. Yeah, we deal 25 damage on average. So... <laughs> Four hits. Equal 100. 40 hits, and I have to land on him. Okay, good. 40 hits. Equal 1,000. Okay. 400 hits are 10,000. 
and we need to get to 45,000. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, the thing is, I'm, I'm just calculating this in my head right now. This is not something I, you know, planned for. So, <laughs> it's like, like, I just realized, so yeah, I can't really go for the evolution, you know. If I don't um, trigger these guardians, and these guardians, they will stay around for quite some time, so... That could be a problem. <laughs> oh yeah, but my damage is going up, I forgot about that. Uh, photo Less told me this. Photo Loss, I think I said Photo Less. Uh, told me this, that the damage of the Clock Lancet increases every single minute. So that's at least a good part, you know. Yeah, but same problem again, do you see that, how I keep taking damage? And against enemies later on that are super duper powerful, this will not be possible. I will just die. And I already lost one revive, which is very bad. Because the plan that I came up with is, I will get awake, you know. And every single awake gives me 10% HP and one armor. So I plan to use that as survival mechanic. Well, plan is maybe a bit exaggerated. What I mean is when I was, you know, thinking about the arcana in the very beginning, I thought, yeah, you know, awake could be good. That's why I want to start with it. But then I, ooh, I took, yeah, money. I was smart. Yeah, that's why I want to start with it. But uh, I will have to take that at minute 11, I think. Like, we will go through the arcana, but I don't think there's another one that would be good, except for Heart of Fire. And Heart of Fire should then be the last one. Maybe I should have just started with Heart of Fire and use... No, that doesn't make any sense. That is, that is stupid. <laughs> Why would I do that? Yeah. No, the way it's done is right. It, it, it's just, you know... I mean, it's a challenge. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, hmm. So, at 10 minutes, I will get the evolution, hopefully. And I wonder if the effect of Clock Lancer that halves the enemy HP also applies to the Guardians. Now, if it does then this will be super duper easy and that means I will wait until 10 minutes before I pick up the other arrow. If it doesn't, then I have a very big problem because to evolve the weapon, I need to get additional 40% curse, but that won't be a problem because I trigger the other guardian now. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, no, 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 it, it's all good, it's all fine. Yeah, then I can also pick up, uh, pick up the arrow right away. That's good, nice. Making my way down. No, stop that, Dex. I don't know why this always comes to my mind, this song. I, I don't even know the lyrics of it. I only know the making my way downtown, and then that's it. You know, I don't know what happens afterwards. Okay, uh, you're a bit annoying. So do we already have our, how many, 4,500 hits or so? Or how many I calculated there? I mean, our damage slightly increased. The last time I checked, I think it was average of 25. The, the range that you see there is, by the way, just visual. The game actually applies a set number to all of the enemies, no matter what it shows. And this is not unique to this weapon, this is just in general, you know. Just that it doesn't look as boring in every single weapon. Like, let's say Garlic does 10 damage right now. It might be a bit boring to always see 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So what it does is, it shows a damage value minus a random number between negative 5 of the damage and plus 5 of the damage. Uh, there we go. Maybe, should I trigger him? Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll head over and trigger him. How far do I have to walk for that? I wonder, should I maybe take the rings? I could take the silver ring that I <laughs> just left behind. And with the silver ring, I would have more duration. Now, who cares about duration, right? The freezing is not the problem or keeping them frozen. They will be frozen for quite some time because we have additional duration either way. The problem is actually killing them and not taking damage while I walk through them. Ah, whatever, I'll make this work somehow. Oh, ooh, okay, we got the witch, nice, nice. I used to call the witch a banshee, and I know the name in the files is witch, but I, I, it, it just feels wrong. It, it's a banshee. This is the definition of a banshee. Ooh, big boy. Wait, sh oh. I might want to wait until I kill the first one to trigger the second one, which might also just be my ignorance thinking that I can kill the first one, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping for it, you know? I can't promise it, but I'm hoping for it. And I kinda shouldn't level up right now, since it just makes the enemy stronger, at least those that have the HP scaling ability, where their their base health is multiplied with my level. Um, but it's not like I can easily avoid this, since the Clock Lancet always goes into, you know, usually the direction where I'm walking. Since that's the path that will be cleared, so it makes sense to walk there. I, I don't have to, but I think I'll die otherwise. Um, 
Okay, there's the mass, that means the arrow is around the corner. How about an NFT? You know what? How about an NFT? I feel an NFT. Uh, it's a burnt chicken. I, you know, it has to do with burning. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. These guardians are no joke. Wait, I don't have I don't have any more revivals left. If if I die now, I'm dead. That's it. Uh oh. Oh, why did I go to the stage? You, the, the thing is, a stage with less enemies, but tougher enemies, would have been so much easier since we don't care about how tough they are. What what the actual problem is, is how, um, how many there are, you know? And actually just freezing them is better than killing them, since while they are frozen, they don't deal any damage to you. And that- oh no. Okay, there we go. And that means I could just freeze them. I could actually have done this without the, the freeze explosion. I could just have kept them frozen, walk through them, and nothing happens to me. Uh, that might have actually been smarter. Interesting. Uh, but then again, it would also have been quite boring, right? Yeah, I would say so. Oh, this would be a few level ups here. There we go. Okay, full health. Please stop now, please. Please, please stop now. Could you? Thank you. There we go. Oh. I don't know how to deal with this dude. We are about to reach 10 minutes. Okay, I will walk over there. It's it's fine. I'll take some damage, but at minute 10, this should be a lot easier to get through the enemy since it's just a bubble spawning. Did I kill him? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see him behind me. Uh, I wish you could see the HP of these bosses, you know. Just a boss uh, health bar shown above them. Oh no, this... Okay, there we go. Phew, that was lucky. That was really close. Don't pick up this chest. So what I have to do now is... I have to trigger the second guardian, I have to get his arrow, after I get the arrow, I have to max out my arrow, and I also need to get awake as soon as possible. Ooh, these banshees could be a problem. One of them hitting... Uh, I don't think I want to pick up the arrow. I gotta be honest. Did I kill the boss already? I killed the boss already. Okay, so the problem is if I pick up the arrow now, then I won't get chickens from level ups, and then I will just eventually die. Like, do you see the trickle of health that I'm losing? Yeah, this would have been an arrow level up instead of chicken. So, what do I do now? Hmm. I think I just have to wait for a wave that is relatively easy to deal with. That might be the better way of doing it, because I keep losing health here. Um, oh, okay, there we go. Maybe... Is this an easy wave? Not really, is it? But there's the Arcana. If I get the Awake Arcana... What do you mean, if? I will get the Awake Arcana. Oh, but only if I survive. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Well, with a ton of explosions... Oh, that was really close. I think I was about to die there. Yeah, hmm, hmm... I don't like this. Give me a chicken. Chicken! Okay. Give me a level up. I need a chest. Ch is it a bed? Is it awake? Come on, please, please. Be yes. Okay. Um, awake. Perfect. Yeah, we have enough rerolls. That would have worked either way. Or a heart of or disco of gold. Wait, but I can't really trigger it, can I? Yeah. Well, maybe actually, disco of gold might be better. You know, just to collect some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Well, now it's dealing 50 damage. That is quite solid. Let me get this experience here. That was nothing. Yeah, I think I will want to have this core of gold just to get the healing in. Especially with Awake. Now, how many revivals do I have? Only three. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god. Okay, that was the first one. Now, the good thing is I will have more HP now. So... Oh, wait a second. I have to turn off the flashing VFX. I turned that on when I didn't see the clock lancet, you know, in, to check if that's maybe the problem, but it wasn't. It just didn't show it. So I will go over to the arrow now. I think what I have to do is I, I just have to get it. I just have to get it. I have to max it. Yeah, of, what do you do? Just here, get it. And now run away. Man, that was stupid. Okay, that was my mistake, you know. I thought I had it. But obviously I didn't, so I just stood next to it and died. It's still fine, because every single time my HP gets increased, my armor gets increased, and that's really all that matters. Oh, that was close to maxing it out. Well, not really, but somewhat. Okay, so this chest, I can pick that up. We have another chest to my left side here. I'm actually more amazed right now that I'm still alive. You know? 
we are we are talking about 12 minutes into the game using only clock lens and nothing else. And I'm okay, ignoring the, the two deaths or three deaths that I had was three deaths, right? Uh, yeah, well, three plus one, four, yeah, three deaths, okay. Um, maybe four in a second. Come on, I know you want to give me a chicken. No, you don't want to give me a chicken. Okay, that's fine. Okay, ouch, ouch. I actually can't walk with the clock lancer that well. Like, I thought that would be the way to do it, but it doesn't work that well. Where's the other guy? Did we kill one? No. That was the cheekiest plan I've ever seen. So the orange guy on the right, he was stuck somewhere to the right. And when I saw him walking in, I focused on him and then this dude charged at me in that moment. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. At least I have a decent amount of damage right now. That's good. Why is he sometimes so fast? Okay, there we go. We can evolve. Now I just have to get... Oh, no. Oh, I can't go back. Yeah, I, I don't think I can go back. I mean, maybe like this. Okay, there we go. Why do I even pressure this so much? It doesn't help me at all. Right? Okay, we, ki we killed one of them. Wait, wait, wait. I have to be very smart about this now. Chicken, now rush through here. Take a ton of damage because I'm very smart about this. It's the rings. It's not the arrows. Oh, no. Now they have curse. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> uh, typical Dex. Okay, okay, we have the ring. I ignore the guy walking after me, okay? We don't talk about that guy. I accidentally walked into him. Yes, he nearly killed me again. Yes. Look, I always walk upwards when the piano is around me. That's the path that I tend to take. And again, he just spawned out of nowhere. And this time I survived. Okay, there we go. We got the ring. I don't understand how I totally forgot that the ring is the one that I need for Clock Lancet. Because I get it all the time when I do gold runs, which I've been doing. Like, that is the only thing I've been doing lately. And I get the rings all the time. Like, I should have known that. I don't even know why I thought that it's, you know, the arrows. Okay, let me get the chest here. That was so not worth it to risk my life for a chest. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, there we go. So the way I'll do it is, I'll focus on killing these. We have seen I have more than enough damage to do that. And after that is done, then I will head over to the other ring. I think we noticed we have more than enough time for this entire thing. And I, even if I don't get it, it's not the biggest problem, right? I can just evolve later. In the end, it will only have the HP of the enemies and nothing more. So it's not like it's something that is crucial. But unless it works for these guys, I guess. But if it doesn't work, then I have three guys chasing me. Well, but that could be fun. No, Dex, don't do that. Don't be stupid. For once, please, don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that arrow mistake. Oh my god, I can't believe it still. It's actually unbelievable. Well, see you back at 10 minutes, maybe, unless something exciting happens. Okay, now I understand how I killed the first guy. So, the explosions are real explosions. I mean, that makes sense, right? But if there are multiple enemies in one spot, then the explosions will hit all of them. So, I'll try... Oh no, oh no, this is not good. Ooh, yeah, but maybe you've seen it, that it hit them multiple times. Um, I don't want to die here. I need to keep the revise for a week. I mean, it's not the most important thing ever, but it will give me bonus stats only if I already have the Arcana. And dude, these guys are really pushing in. Let me dance around this for a bit. There we go. Okay, now I go back and there should be a red gem with a ton of experience. I wanted to... Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's one away gone. Mm, it, it's fine, hopefully. How did I survive the prior? Well, just by leveling up, right? Yeah, look at this. How many explosion damages he takes? I, I Do you call it that? Explosion damages? But well, explosion damage from the other ones, you know. But uh, plural. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Chicken! Okay, but somewhere is still the red gem with all the level ups that I didn't collect so far. And my plan is I will pick... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I will pick that up. Once I have the ring, so I can... Uh, not Yeah, the, yeah, the ring, the ring, the ring. Yeah. So I can max it out, the, the ring, immediately and evolve it. I don't... As I said, I don't even know why I put so much into that. So much hope. But let's just hope for the best here. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, ooh, that was so close. I have to be very... If this explodes on me, I'm dead. Okay, that was very close. The problem is I can't just, you know, freeze them and walk back. They just keep on walking. Um, can I level up here, please? Oh, nice, thank you. I feel a lot more comfortable with this now. Well, well, that was it. That was all the health that I just got. Why are there so many enemies? I don't even... What? No! I just realized that I never got a single freeze to kill all the enemies. Or maybe I saw it and didn't think about it. But yeah, I just picked one up and that killed all of them. That reminded me, yeah, freeze is actually quite good here, you know? And we have the Arcana, so it should make them more common. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so this time I have a new strategy. But first of all, I'll not trigger this Guardian up here with the arrow. And hopefully I don't accidentally do it on my way back. But I will pick up this ring and I'll start hammering on this dude without leaving. I'll just stay here and try to kill him. Because the biggest problem is just that they follow me and I can't really evade the enemies while I have to run away from them. But it's not really a new strategy, right? Like I said this, that I should do that. I, I was just too stubborn. Okay, there he is. Nice. Triggered. Let's go. And I think Orologion, the freezing clock that freezes everything and damages everything, actually does work on him, if I remember it right. Now, I might be wrong with this, you know, and it doesn't work, but uh, let's hope so. There's a chicken, very good. Do we have something else here? No, nothing, okay. Oh my god, this is so much easier. Like, this is so much easier. Okay, chicken, that was wasted, that's fine. Yeah, I'll keep some chickens around so I can just grab them when I need them. So this is interesting, the freezing explosions that hit him here, do you see that only he is hit, but it's applied multiple times the damage. Uh, I don't fully understand what's going on there, sometimes it's only once as you can see, this one here was like five times. There are three times, three times, two times, very interesting, there was no enemy around him, but I also noticed sometimes this explosion effect that happens kills enemies that are not within the beam. Like, not even, it, it's not justified by explosions or so. So I think something weird might be going on, where sometimes, do you see that, how, he already, <laughs> go back 5 seconds, 10 seconds, take a look where, where I shoot my beam, and you'll see the dude back there took damage. Yeah, well, no, that one was justified. Well, I guess if they are maybe close to each other, like close enough, it creates a chain reaction. That could definitely... No, but then all of them would die. Unless it has a limit? No, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, sometimes... Why does he hit himself? You know, when no one is around him. Why does this show up five times, two times? Stuff like this. Weird. I'm kind of trying to get him stuck on objects like here. The, the problem is the enemies... Yeah, no, do you see that? The problem is the enemies walk towards me, so I have to walk away, and then he gets free. That was so not worth it. Yeah, I'd rather run around and manually kill the enemies instead of this. Like, I lost so much health there. There we go. Oh, the ghost starts spawning. Ooh, this will be a problem. Where are my freezes? Why am I not getting any freezes? Isn't it supposed to be increased? And they are already quite common. Like, okay, like, they don't appear every single 30 seconds or so, but, ooh, yeah, of course, of course, let me get the experience here, there we go, and there we go. Okay, that was a bit overkill, that was the experience that I planned to level up the second ring with, but it's fine. Ouch. Hmm, I'm right now thinking if it's really a good idea to even get the second ring. Like, the problem is the enemies will have a ton more curse, right? So it will just be very difficult to deal with them for an effect that might not help me at all. Like, right now they just die because of the explosion damage, as in they get hit multiple times and that's enough. So, getting the evolution might just be bad, but, but you know, sometimes, or let's say <laughs> pretty much always when I play, it's less about, you know, just doing the best thing, the most efficient thing. I just want to have fun. And if someone tells me to not go for an epic evolution like the Corridor, then I would say, no, that's, that's not a lot of fun, you know? That's, 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 that's not fun. I can't believe that in 8 minutes I only had a single freeze. And since the start, I already had the, the Arcana, right? So, oh no. I'm about to hit level 40. 
that means no more healing for quite some time. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Um, I I will get. Oh, that was that was that was way too close. That that was way 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 too close. Okay, come on. I need. Okay, this is where it becomes really difficult. So now I will not have any healing for an entire level. I mean, that's always the case, but this is a long level. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is bad, this is bad. Now I don't... Yeah, okay. I I don't think it's possible... Well, it, it's probably possible to not lose your revive there, right? It is definitely possible. I think the very first time where I played, I didn't lose it. But it's so difficult. I would have to watch back what happened there, and I think what happened was I just got random health drops, and they keep me alive. I mean, you know, with random level ups that keep you alive, that obviously works. The Wait, did you see that? Did you- did, what, what, what? What? Where aren't these explosions coming from? That makes no sense, they are not connected. What? I mean, I, I guess I don't complain about it, it's just like, what's going on? Sometimes the enemies explode in the weirdest locations that make no sense at all. Okay, we are now at 10 minutes. That means the boss spawns. Is that a problem? Not really. There will be more bosses. Yeah, that's totally fine. I just have to make sure that I don't die here. And that I kill this dude finally. Man, this takes some time. Okay, there's the, the big boss. I don't need him since I don't have the second ring and I'm not gonna walk back to here. I'll just kill a future boss. But uh, why is he still alive? I mean... Oh, we did it. We did it. Okay, now I can walk over. And this should be fairly simple since I'm not chased anymore, so I can... Um... Yeah, avoid the enemies or something. I don't know how I will do this. I feel like I need Empty Tome. But I'm not giving up yet. Wait, 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 wait. The bed will spawn, and the bed will allow me to get awake at 11 minutes. So I will just focus on the bed. Yeah, that, that is a very good idea. Or should I go for Heart of Fire? No, there's no way Heart of Fire is that good. Like, the problem is I don't have a revive anymore. Zero. And the next time I die, I will just lose. And with Heart of Fire, you only get a benefit if you take damage, which is the opposite of what I want to do right now, since I don't have revives left. There we go. Perfect. Okay, okay. I have a feeling we're doing it this time. Well, doing it in quotation marks, you know. We get further this time. Uh-oh. Don't trigger this dude. I just got rid of the other one. Don't do it this time. Okay. More experience. There we go. This is really not great. I don't think I can walk over. Uh, sure. Great. Okay, I'll attempt it. The danger is now, if I have to walk up, then I'm walking right into him. That means I can't. That means I just have to go through the enemies. Like this. Okay, there we go. I think I'm safe now. Well, safe in regards to the other guardian there. But not safe from dying, for sure. Okay, let me walk over here. And I will not level up anytime soon. That means I'll die. Well, the good thing is we have a wake, right? And a wake will also increase the damage of the beams. So, that's a good thing, I would say. It's only a good thing if they didn't die already, you know. That's why I'm hesitant. Oh, chicken! Oh, nice, thank you. Thank you. So, how do I time the second ring? Because I don't think there is a very good wave that I can do this on. Maybe what I should do is I will just accumulate a couple of chests around me. Like, let's say three or four chests. And, oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. No! No! How many revivals do I have left? One. One. And that's it then. Oh, why? Okay, the minute the, the minute 12 is over. These flying heads were so annoying. I tried to constantly evade them and then I would just walk into the next enemy. Ooh, ha. How did you... Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's walk over there. But Dex, can't you just walk with the clock lens? Well, that's what I'm trying, but what do I do now? I, I can't just walk back and go through it. Um, okay, let's go over here. There should be plenty of experience on the ground for hopefully five levels. And that means once I have the ring and some chests around, I should be able to just max it out and evolve it. Hopefully. You know, there, there's the hopefully part. Okay, let me go up here. There were some candles. Freeze. No, uh, uh, where are the freezes? The freezes just don't exist here. 
Like, do you understand how good it would be to uh, apply the nuke that I have, the explosion, to the entire screen and freeze the rest? It's not even about killing them, right? Like, if they just stayed frozen, I could walk through them and nothing would happen to me. And with my extended duration, that's like 15 seconds of nothing happening to me. But no, I don't get a break. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, these enemies seem to be fairly weak. Like, they don't deal a lot of damage to me. So I will rather rush through them. The problem is we are getting to levels that will just kill me if I touch them. So I, I think by then I definitely need the evolution. Yeah, and the, the longer I take, the more chests will lay on the way here. And I can't go back and pick them up. They're just gone. Wait, do I have a revive left? Okay, I still have one more revive. That's very good. I don't want to use it here, right? And I do have a lot of experience around, so I don't think I will have to use it. But this is not looking too promising again. <gasps> oh my, I won't heal. Yeah, that's uh, great. Well, that's really useless. Well, that's totally useless. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Well, it's not perfect, but it will save me a revive, right? Yeah, look at all the levels. I could have gotten this with the ring. Oh my god, no, those were way too many levels. I'm, am I happy about this to not lose a revive? I guess I am, but what do I do now? They just overwhelm me. Hmm. Somehow the boss is not frozen. Since when are you immune to that? What? Uh, that's news to me. I have never seen this. Oh, chicken. Freeze? Dude, w w what is going on with the freezes? I didn't decrease their rarity. No, nothing else would appear otherwise. What? That is so weird. Hmm. Man, these guys are really something else. Okay, there we go. Level 70. Oh, we just had a nice level. Now it's gone. Ah, it's fine. Or should I maybe wait until 21 minutes? If, if I get... But what am I talking about? I'll not survive that. Okay, these guys are really slow. Oh, this would be the perfect wave to get the ring. Okay, I'll rush over there. Ah, uh, but, but the wave is already over nearly. Like, I won't get there in time, is what I mean. Hmm... Is there another wave that is as slow as this one? <gasps> we, we got it! Okay, rush, 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 rush. Don't walk into the arrow. Very important. Also, be very careful that I don't accidentally walk into the enemies while they unfreeze. The, the problem is I didn't know when they unfreeze. Okay, Dex. This is your last revive. You will have the most health ever, the most armor ever. You can't die here. I promise it to you. Come on. Oh my god, they deal so much damage. Wh what? Um, well, that's a little bit of damage, you know, just a little bit. Well, I guess the witches are really strong, but now the wi- They are not gone. They are still there. No, 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 Banshee, 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 Ooh, ooh, I need to level up. Where's all the experience that I had? I had a bunch of experience, like a lot of experience somewhere. I'm- I'm dead, am I not? No, 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 I can do this. I can- do not explode on me. I- not sure if... No, there was no explosion. I would have died. Well, actually, no, I have a bunch of armor. Maybe that was actually an explosion. Okay, come on, level up. There we go. Chicken. Very careful now. Just circle the enemies. Come on. <laughs> you know, in the past, I said you can win just with Clock Lancet, but that was with, like, the meaning of you have a normal build, as in Clock Lancet and all the passive weapons. So duration... Uh, you have Empty Tome. Empty Tome is the most important one. The rest doesn't really matter. Empty Tome is really important for the cooldown. Okay, another chicken. Perfect. If I get another freeze here, I think I can sprint over to the ring, maybe. No, of course not. Um, oh, this is not good. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. The bosses don't get frozen by the clock lancer. That's not good. Why is this not a thing anymore? Was it, since when was this changed? Ah, uh, yeah, of course I didn't get that one. Of course. Oh, no. Maybe, you know what, maybe what I should do is really just pick up the ring and walk back to a chest. Like, ignore that I can't get one right now. Okay, this is a dangerous part. I can't walk up to the arrow. That means I have to go through the bottom part here. And that means if they hit me, they hit me. Oh, this is not good. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, didn't trigger him. Okay, okay, okay. I, I need a vacuum. I need a vacuum here. Chicken also fine. Wait, wait, wait. I might be able to do this. I just have to walk to the ring, pick it up, rush away, 
and then get to the red gem that is created and just get a chest. It's not that difficult. I can do this. Come on, come on. Oh, why? I hate seeing coins so much. Please remove them from the game. <laughs> Has nothing to do that this is, you know, pretty much a hardcore challenge or something. Um, the ring is over there. Should I just wait for the minute 20 boss? I could do that. You know, wait, uh, look for the red gem, position it next to me, somewhat, wait for the minute 20 chest, the boss, so he gives me a chest, then rush to the ring, go back, pick up the red gem, max it out, hopefully also get some healing at this point, because I will most likely take a lot of damage up until then, and, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is not what I wanted to do, oh this is not good. Okay, I can't take the ring though, yeah, I can't take the ring, it's fine, I'll do this, I'll do this. I believe in myself. Okay, come on. Come on. Slowly. 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 Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Don't explode, no. Okay, I got a chicken there. That was very good. Walk around the table here. Freeze the banshee. Freeze the ba- Freeze the ba- Perfect. Taking way too much damage, but gotta level up. Okay. Okay. There we go. Ooh. No! No, 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 no. Not now. No, no, no. Oh. No! Those were the level ups meant for the ring. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Okay, wait a second. Is it time? I think it's time. Okay, let's get the ring. I will accumulate enough experience to max this out. I will do it. Why is this boss frozen, by the way? Not the weaker ones. That is weird. Okay, the chest is down. That's very good. It's all two out of nine. Come on. No, I need a heal there. Come on. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! He is frozen! Okay, okay, where's my vacuum? There's my vacuum. Let's head over there. And then let's head back to the chest. Let's just pray that this is enough. I don't... It's not even one level. It's not even one level. Uh, okay, he is dead. Wait, wait, wait. The problem is I have to max it out. So the enemies get stronger and stronger. No! No! Okay, again a new strategy. This time, I'll just rush over and stand next to the ring. No, 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 I will get the ring right away. Reason is, I can max it out while I still level up quickly, and then I don't have to wait until it takes so long to max it out. Okay, okay, come on, come on. There we go, he should- yeah, he spawned now. Let's get the ring, let's walk back, there's the experience, okay. Let's hope this maxes out. If this doesn't max out, then I have a very big problem. Because I also need the healing, 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 okay. There's the boss over there, so I will walk bottom right. There we go. Come on. Mmm. I'm still in it. We got the evolution, right? Okay, we got the evolution. Oh my god. What? Huh? What? But I... But... Huh? So, you know what happened in the last run? Well... To remove all the weapons, I had to put their rarity to zero in the game files, so that I don't get them on level ups. And guess which weapon I also had on zero, without thinking about it? The evolution. Yes, the evolution from Clock Lantern, and that's why it didn't evolve. It's, uh, it, it's really amazing to know that you had a run that might have succeeded, and because of your own stupidity, it failed. I guess, to be fair, <laughs> that's the main reason why these runs usually fail, you know, so... Uh, it's not just always with code, you know, sometimes it's just the brain power that is missing. Oh my god, look at this wipe. Look at this wipe. Boof! And another one. Oh, 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 that was amazing. Okay, back to it. Okay, same story again. This time the problem is I just collected the red gem. That means it will not have a lot of experience in there. And as you can see, I have another guardian behind me, which is not great. But I'll try to make it work. Please don't explode on me. Please don't explode on me. Of you, yeah. Why? Oh, this will take so long to let Maxus out. Yeah, that, that's just it. I'm dead. Wow, you're amazing. I hate this so much. I hate everything right now. Yeah, and you didn't move now because this game is dog shit. Oh, I'm sorry. So if you already press buttons to move when you level up, like while in the level up screen, then it won't work. Okay, okay, listen, no one has to tell me how bad this looks right now, okay? I have three guardians behind me and that one here is not even triggered yet. I, I know, 
I know how bad it is. Okay, I just have to heal up enough. That is all that I need right now, a ton of healing. Come on, please, 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 please. Okay, oh no, there's the red gem. I can't walk into the red gem. I need that to evolve. I had to max out the ring. Oh my god, that was so close. Um, how do I do this? I have to get past them somehow and level up to heal. Okay. <sighs> okay, new idea because everything failed so far and you have no idea how often I've done this. I'll pick up the ring now, way before the boss spawns, and the goal is, or the hope is, that so many enemies spawn that I just keep leveling up all the time. Because the problem is, while I do level up all the time in this wave here and heal, I am losing health eventually. Like, it, it, it just continues losing health. Especially once I pick up the ring. So now, I'm already maxed out. There's no longer a need to pick up a ring. No longer a need to level up anything. Yes, it will take longer to kill the boss, but I, I'm, I'm, I, you have no idea how long this is going on now. So just as a reference, I just checked, 12, no, <laughs> 12 minutes, yes, 2 hours, 3, oh, uh, 13 minutes and 11 seconds right now, this recording, just to get this done with. Oh my god, this is just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but do you see, I mean, more enemies spawn, oh man. This always happens somehow, that these hit me randomly. The, the, the thing is, I need certain things to align. Like, sometimes I need to find a chicken, some- Oh, don't do this to me. I still have a revival left, but obviously I don't want to lose that before I get awake. I mean, there's there are worse things that could happen, you know? Okay, this is fine. Hopefully the boss dies now. Hopefully the boss dies. If he doesn't die soon, I have a very big problem, because these guys will chase me. Okay. Didn't get a level up there. That's not great. How do I... How do I get a chest now? Is this dude... If the other dude is stuck up there, I don't get the chest. I can't evolve. Okay. No, what? No, I triggered the arrow guy. <laughs> and then he had the curse applied. No. <laughs> Why? Oh. <sighs> Okay, okay, okay. I have a somewhat new strategy. Sadly, I already died, which means I need to get some healing ASAP. And it is to wait until I get the curse until minute 11. Now, I honestly think the curse is a huge mistake. The entire evolution is a huge mistake. But the thing is, later on we will have bosses that will not get frozen, that will make me move around like these guys pretty much, right? So what I'm gambling on is that, yes, it's harder early on to do this entire thing, but it will pay off later on. Now, will it pay off? I have no idea. It might never pay off and it, it's just a huge waste of time, right? Oh, please die here. Oh, you need to die ASAP. Oh, that's not good. Um, okay, I will pick up the ring in a second. There we go. So now we have a wake. Oh, this is the furthest I've gotten in a very long time. Just as a reference, we are now at 2 hours 28 minutes. And awake to the left, there we go, perfect. And I think there is an evolution... Yeah, okay, he's there, he died, never mind. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now I want to walk over there. The, I can't pick up any red gem. There are multiple red gems right now, but I don't know which the, the one is that I actually want to have. You know, to evolve. Okay, there we have... Oh, that, that was stupid. I uh, I was looking only at the two guys here. Man, uh, my brain is melted slowly. Okay, obviously only a coin. I... Oh. 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 Please tell me I can get there. I want to see damage numbers the moment it goes off. Oh, this is really not good. Yeah, I think I missed it. Uh, vacuum? No, coin. Oh, there it is. There it is. No! Why? Ah, whatever. Um, the zero rivals left. Oh, that's really not good. Okay, it's maxed out. Floor chicken, heal me up. Perfect. There we go. Uh, there's a chest to the right. Is this... Well, they are all to my right. I can't go there even. Okay, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Yeah, this is the best that I can do. Finally, an evolution chest. Please tell me it deals damage to them. It does! It does! That means they will eventually die. Um, I mean, the cooldown is not amazing, you know. Yeah, the cooldown is not amazing. Why are they so fast? The curse should not apply to them. They were spawned before the curse. Well, I mean, one of them is dead, I guess. 
Wait, but why are they so fast? Okay, let me get this. I don't want to pick up the arrows because, you know, the, the goal was to just evolve the clock lens. And it was not to pick up more. Then I could also pick up the empty tome. Okay, 1.2k. So that means he has only 1.2k uh, uh, HP. Come on, hit him. Hit him. It's 200. I can easily do this. Here. There we go. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So this is as good as it will get. Th there will not be an improvement. If this doesn't work, I will give up. Um... It could definitely be possible, and I think it's very likely that you have to win this by just going for Clock Lancet. Stay in the very beginning, do not move around, you know, just stick around and aim to just not take any damage. I think this is by far the best way, because now I have lost four revivals, where I could have had four. Now, this is of course with the assumption that I wouldn't have died either way, uh, but yeah. And maybe I will give this another try if I fail here in the future. And do it with Empty Tome, you know, from the stage. I will reroll until I get uh, four Empty Tomes and then just stick with them. Uh, maybe I will also just unlock them. I could just unlock them, yeah. But either way, let's give it our best. Let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes. No revivals left. This is oof. That is the definition of oof. Okay. Yeah, so this was expected. Like, the, the evolution doesn't help us at all with killing these enemies. In fact, it would be better for me if they would stay frozen so I can walk through them. Since the enemies that can hurt me, they can't walk through them. They can try to push through them, you know. But most of the times, I'll not take any damage. And right now, what I have to do is I have to counter heal the damage that I take with chickens, with level ups. But eventually, like, the, the, the more I level up, the less level ups I'll have and the more dangerous this will become. I also have to pick up the red gems, I should not forget about this, because if they keep accumulating all the experience in there, then eventually I'll just get one big red gem with like 50 level ups, and after that I get nothing anymore, right? And that, that is not very smart to do. So the goal right now is I have to get to 21 minutes, and then we have to discuss what I go for. Now I personally still believe the gold fever is by far the best one. An alternative could be to go for Sarah Band of Healing, you know, to push back the enemies, to double the healing. However, I don't get that much healing. But with level ups, this might be possible. Now, can I promise that it's possible? No, I don't know. I'm I'm so unsure which one is better, whether Gold Fever, and you know, when you pick up chests, when you get level ups, well, with level ups, I can't really do that. Ah, oh, this is so complicated. The benefit of Sarah Band of Healing is that it has super slight knockback, but this will also not help me to a big amount, right? With the amount of curse that is right now on the enemies. And I'm dropping health right now, that is not good. I hope the wave at 16 minutes is a lot easier to deal with, because otherwise I'll just die. That was it. Okay, more level ups, there we go, there's a bet. Okay, so these guys, they are super slow, and they should be very easy to deal with, unless... Unless they are not. Uh-oh. No, okay, nah, nah, uh, stupid me of course, but that was it. I give up, <laughs> I think it's possible if you're better than me, and, but, yep, yeah, I, I give up. Okay, 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 did you seriously think I would give up on that? Hey, 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 free time for suffering? Hello? Of course I'm in. Okay, so I was thinking, I could also go for this core of gold and Sarah Band of Healing, Honestly, that might be better to just push away the enemies and heal an insane amount. But I think awake is just... The problem is... The problem I'm having is... Do you see my HP right now? This is not because of the enemies. That is because... Well, okay. It is because of the enemies, but maybe not what you think. The Banshees, when they manage to get through and they get frozen next to me, they explode. And for some reason, this always hits me. Now, sometimes you see that Banshees explode on me and I don't take any damage. And that's because of invulnerability frames. But something, whenever they are frozen, either I got super unlucky or there's something going on that just always makes me take the full damage. You know, that for example, because they couldn't hit me, there's somehow no invulnerability frames or so. I don't know. Don't ask me. I have no idea why. Oh, this is level 40. That's not good. Okay, let me get the rosary. That's why I kept it. Um, yeah, that's why I kept it. Well, there we go. Okay, not bad. Okay, walk up. Walk up here. Get something amazing. That is totally useless. I'm dead. Uh, totally fine. Oh, 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 oh. But it would be fine to die, because now I have all the revivals, the additional ones. But of course, every single time I lose a revival, I lose a revival, and I don't want to lose a revival. You know, that makes sense, hopefully. Okay, let me get this for short invulnerability. Just give very short invul invulnerability, just like level ups. 
Okay, let me freeze this, perfect. And now walk through here. Um, it's not enough for a level up, sadly. Hmm. Okay, but there's a level up, level 42. The answer to life. Okay, there we got it. Nice, nice. Oh my god, this is so stressful. I mean, obviously, without the curse, it's a lot easier to deal with these guys now. But as you can see, it's not easy. Easier, yes, but not easy. There we go. I should always go up there whenever the clock... The, the problem is when the clock lancer turns around and it doesn't hit them, then they just get free shots on me. And if they stand on top of me, then the future clock lancer won't hit them. That's why I try to avoid that. But as long as it's at the bottom, you know, it's actually... It's, it's quite safe in there. Like, if I go now, maybe... Yeah, yeah. It's hard to get there in time without taking damage, right? Because in my mind, we are also playing on hurry mode, by the way. Because I said I can't be bothered to do this, like, 30 minutes now. I want to see if it's possible. I want to see if it works. Hurry mode makes it easier and harder. So, how does this make sense? Well, if hurry mode goes on for longer, and let's say, um, on, on the wave that is currently in, not this one here, but one wave that is currently in, random one, you get one, like you get a chicken, then you lose 90% HP of that chicken. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. 90% HP of that chicken, and then you get another chicken, right? That means you very, very slowly recover all of your health. However, if the level is only uh, the half the time, right? Oh no, don't kill. Dude, I hate Banshee so much. Man, this is just a choke. This is a bad choke. This is a sick choke or something. Okay, they're frozen right now, that's good, so now I can heal up a bit. This, these were all revives. No, I have one more, okay, very good. So, the good thing is with the revives, I get more and more tanky, so it should become easier. 100 damage, by the way. But the damage is not the problem, like, as I said, when they stay frozen, it's actually better for me to walk through them. But only if they are masses frozen. Like, just singular ones don't do anything for me. And I want to stay within one tile set, so the Kent Labras they always spawn in the tile set you're in. What is a tile set? That's a repeating pattern that you see. But you have to know where a tile set uh, starts and ends, right? Because everything is repeating, so where does it start? And a rough estimate for you to know is from one piano to another. The actual tile set ends, or starts, however you view it, uh, around exactly here, and then goes over to the right side of the piano on the other side, right? But it's close enough if you just say piano to piano. That's good enough. Ooh, my god. I don't want to see the boss at 25 minutes. This will be so difficult. Okay, now how, how am I not dying now? How is it so easy now? Like, how did I just kept on dying all the time? Dude, dude, stay away. I hate these banshees so much. <laughs> yeah, of course you hit me. Of course you hit me. Well, I'll just easily get a level up here, right? And then heal it off, maybe? Maybe? Uh-oh. More banshees. Frozen Banshees, very good. Ah, uh, but I'm so focused on staying in one tile set that I also take damage where I shouldn't take damage. Please level me up, perfect. Okay, that was worth it. Don't hit me, please. Okay, got pushed away from an explosion, very nice. Um, the, of course you hit me there. Man, I don't know. Th that is the Arcana. That is the Arcana. So which one do I go for now? I think we'll take a second and just chill when the bed dies. Then we can talk about this. Okay, the bed is dead. Let's go there. Let's rush there. Okay, so Sarah Band of Healing will mostly only go off with my healing, my natural healing. That means very rarely this pulse will go off, but it will double the healing that I have, which is nothing, right? Gold Fever can literally keep me alive through the entirety of the enemies. The problem with Gold Fever is I can't keep it up. I have to make a decision now, and I'm, I'm gonna go for Gold Fever. I think it's the best one in here. It's insane amount of healing, right? There's no way it's bad. Well, it's not about bad, it's about what's the best, yeah. Oh, did I pick up all the gold bags that I prepared? Um, okay, that, that's actually really bad now. <laughs> uh, I, I, hmm, I thought I still had them on the ground, you know? That's why I wanted to go for it. That's not great. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Well, I also heal from chests, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, I need, I need this. This this Banshee might kill me. So how much do I heal here? Okay, 182. Yeah, that was exactly the value of the chest. That is very good to know. Now there's an NFT. And if I get a freeze, I might be able to kill the boss at 25 minutes just with these two things. Um, well, my level is also kind of high, so I don't think this will actually work out. Hmm. Oh no. Oh yeah, come on. 
Okay, last revival. Let me just get the chest right away. I just need to get back to full health here. The, the thing is, like, you might say, oh yeah, Dex, just take the NFT because it, it will save you. Yes, but after that, what do I take when I then need an NFT, you know, in a more complicated ways? I have to hope for one. And I don't want to rely on hope because, uh, I'm gonna be honest, this is the last attempt that I'll do. Like I said, I'll do one more with hurry mode and um, just see if it works without evolving anything. But if this doesn't work, then the recording is already way too long. I lost motivation a very long time ago, and when I, whenever I lose motivation, I start making stupid mistakes I shouldn't do. So, yeah, let's hope for the best. Oh my god. Oh, I'm picking up all the chests, and once they are gone, I don't have any chests anymore. Okay, I will use the... Yeah. 24 minutes 13. 24 minutes 13. I'll take it. Whatever. Goodbye. You honestly thought I gave up? Y you really thought that? Okay, I, I did give up. I did give up. I edited the video. And at the end, I was like, no way I'm gonna do this. Uh, I already had a speech two times. Oh. Two times. But the last time I went for Saraband of Healing, it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. I get shredded, no pushback, no knockback, does nothing. I tried something else. I don't know which one it was. I forgot that now. Um, no, yeah, I tried Gold Fever again. Like, there is nothing we can take, so this one here might be okay, but the negative 25%, if it even applies, okay, that's an if, would be useless. Well, actually, if it could apply a chain... No, 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 I don't think there's a chain reaction. Okay, reroll. Yeah, Zaraband of Healing, totally useless. This one here must be by far the best one. Uh, it, 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 this didn't do anything. Okay, there we go. So, when I pick this up and start this chain now, yeah, and because I lost with it, I keep losing with it, I first enabled Empty Tome again, and then I feel, felt bad about it, you know, and I decided what I do instead is, I remove the curse out of the game. So, do you see how they are slower, how not so many are spawning? It's still quite difficult, but at least so far it has been more manageable. Now this doesn't help me too too much once we get to minute 24, pretty much 25. We will be surrounded by the enemies regardless, like the curse doesn't have an effect on this. But I hope that they move so slowly that I can somehow deal with them. Okay, there we go. Come on. Oh my god, I have a couple of freezes down, so that's good. You know, here's one, to the left is one. But I have to be insanely careful where I move, that I don't do something stupid like this here. There we go. Uh, gold will heal me more than the chicken now. Um, ouch. 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 They still deal the same amount of damage, by the way. Like, Curse doesn't change anything about that. They still deal a ton of damage, it's just that they are a lot uh, slower, right? So, it's somewhat easier. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Okay, the first oh no was about the NFT, the other oh no is where about the witches spawning. Yeah, do you see how I'm still surrounded by them like crazy? And this will... Uh, uh, this will be like this for the rest of the game. How many revives do I have left? Three! Dex, wow! You're not totally incompetent! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the timing for that always... Why is it, why is it always the timing, you know? Uh, okay, okay. Like, the thing is, oh, I just chose the chickens instead of the gold. The, the the problem is, like, once I'm up here, right, I need to wait until the clock lancer turns around, and it just doesn't happen fast enough. So, let me do something. Why are you not moving? Oh my god, I hate this so much. No! I just lost the revive for no reason. Yeah, yeah, great. You're amazing. I love you. Oh my god, no. How long do they stay frozen is the question. I have another freeze here. Okay, I'll pick it up immediately. Like, I'll not wait. Okay, the boss is there. There's another freeze. However, like, after this wave, there's more. <laughs> this is not over. I have to somehow beat them, and I don't know how. Okay. Last freeze. I just have to hope that the other guys don't deal as much damage. Otherwise, it, it, we just have to use Empty Tome. And then this challenge is already kind of over, you know. Uh, empty Tome was not the point of this. The point was 
win by using croc lands and or its evolution right that was also fair game i don't want to pick up the ring without going for the evolution i could do it in theory but it feels wrong to me because then it's a power up instead of you know just necessary Ooh, well these guys are actually quite thick quite a thick booties quite a thick booties quite a thick booties footy footy hey 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 Ooh, healing Ooh, uh, ha. Yeah. Wah. The good thing is, because they're so thick, they die very, very quickly. Could I just level up, please? Please let me level up. This, this is my last revive. Please. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, level up, level up, level up, level up. I don't want to pick up the chest now, unless I don't heal up. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, come on, 27. 28 is another... No. They are witches. No. 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 Oh. oh. Oh no. Oh no. The thick booties are gone. The thick booties are gone. The witches are back. Stop that. No. Okay, through, through, through. Can you can you die please? This boss is so annoying because he doesn't get frozen. Okay, now I have a problem. Okay, to the side, to the side. Clear this, clear this. The boss is in front of me. What do I do? Clocklands just hit at the top. I'm sweating. I can't believe it. Uh, Clocklancer to the top, boss is top right-ish. Uh, Clocklancer top right, I have to walk aside from the boss, walk to this chest heal. Yup! Yup! It worked, he got pushed back. Okay, okay, I don't even need to heal here. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Is the boss dead? I think the boss died. It doesn't even matter. Okay, 29 minutes. Thick booty boys. Thick booty boys. Come on. They are so thick. Come on, come on. You, no, you can do this. I believe in you. Yeah, ton of level ups. They don't die. That is amazing. They are my shield now. Like, once they are frozen, they are just my shield. Come on. 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. No, 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 no. Too many banshees. Too many banshees. Come on. Stay calm. Stay calm. You can do this. Okay, amazing. Quick healing. Why do I take the chicken still? There we go. Okay, 20 more seconds. It is only 10 more seconds. Uh, invulnerability. Do I just pick up all the chests? Okay. Invulnerability from chests. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That doesn't really help me that much, does it? Well, actually, I can just stay here. They don't do... They... They... They don't do a lot of damage. Wait, what? <laughs> this game. This game. Why do the witches deal so much damage? These do nothing. These did nothing. There you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry that I sound so stupid right now, but you can't imagine how happy I am that it's just done. <laughs> and then do you see this picture here? <laughs> oh wow, I'm so curious to see how much damage the clock lancer did. It's like, oh, okay, yep, oh, good, good.